We've been talking about long-lived assets. We've talked about how to buy them, how to depreciate them, and now we're getting to the fun part, how to get rid of them. When we dispose of a long-lived asset, we can have a gain or a loss. Um, we can sell them for cash. We can put them out into the garbage. We can give them to charity or we can trade them in. So those are the options. So let's take a look at some of these. We're going back to our machine that cost us $15,000, and so far we have accumulated depreciation of $5,000. What if the machine breaks and it's not worth anymore, or, or new technology came in and I just can't use it anymore? So I'm going to give it to the garbage man. Well, let's see what we would do for the entry to give it to the garbage man. The first thing I'd have to do is I need to debit accumulated depreciation for the balance in that account, which is $5,000. And I would skip a line and I would credit a uh, machine for its cost, which is $15,000. Does this get it off of our books? Yes. So no longer does the account accumulated depreciation exist. The machine account doesn't exist anymore because we've removed them from our books. But this entry doesn't balance, does it? We need a $10,000 debit. And that $10,000 debit is called loss on disposal. Loss on disposal. So we had a loss of $10,000 because we had to put it out to the garbage. What if instead I give it to charity? Well, if I give it to charity, notice I still will have to debit accumulated depreciation for $5,000, and I'll still have to credit machine for fifteen dollars to get them off of our accounting records. Now, if I give it to charity, don't I get a uh, charity expense or a donations expense? Yeah. So, I can debit uh, donations expense, not for the fair market value, but for what? The $10,000, whatever it takes to make this entry balance. So, give it to charity. Make sure you get a receipt, though. Finally, we could sell it. What if we sold this machine for $10,000 cash? What would happen then? Well, again, do I need to debit accumulated depreciation for $5,000 to get that account off the books? And I'd have to credit machine for uh, $15,000 to get the cost of the machine off the books. And if I sell it for $10,000 cash, what did I get? I get to debit cash for $10,000. Now notice that my debits equal my credits. So I have neither a gain nor a loss because did I break even on this? I sold it for what it was worth. I sold it for its book value. So instead of selling, saying I sold for $10,000 cash, I could also say sold for book value. And you'll see that when you do your homework. It'll say you sold something for its book value, which means you had no gain, no loss, you just broke even.